So Windows 11 on your Amazon Fire Stick or your Android TV, really? Well, let's just see if I can log in. Let me just press the select button. Let me click on, and in case you're wondering, yes, I am on my 4K Fire Stick Max. Let's click on sign in. And I mean, that looks like a Windows 11 interface to me. So let me just get my Bluetooth mouse. Okay, so if this really is Windows 11, can I maybe click on start? Yes, I can. I can now see some of the programs or some of the applications installed. Can I open up the notepad? All right, can I write something? So I will now put that into our text document. Let's just now minimize this document out of the way. Well, I mean, if this really is Windows, then surely I can change this background. Well, let's see, can I go to the settings? Let's go over to personalization. Okay, so we've got some different wallpaper. Let's go for this one over here. Let's click on that. Let's now close the settings. And we've now changed the wallpaper on our Windows 11 application. Can I now go to the browser? Let's click on that. We're now inside a browser. Uh, let me just try and search for something. Let's just search for TD UK, very original. Click on next. We're now searching. We can now access my tutorials page and we can see the content there. So we have a fully working browser. Let's close that down. Now, for example, if I want to install an application or maybe download a game from the Microsoft store, can I do that? Let's click on the store. Uh, let's see what we can potentially install. I've uh, got some games here. Uh, Mario, or let's try this Stick Ninja. Let's see if that works. So let's click on that. Let's click on get. That now starts downloading. Okay, let's go back to our desktop. Let's close this down. And I now see a new app on my desktop. And can I actually launch that? Okay, so we're now playing Stick Ninja on Windows 11 through my Amazon Fire Stick Max. Now, I think you have to make a, a stick or a bridge. So let's press the left click. Okay, all right, that's a small bridge there. Let's do that again. Oh, that was too short. Okay, let's try that again one more time. Uh, about that much. Looks good. About that much. Too long. Well, in this video today, let me show you how you can get this amazing application on all of your Android devices, giving you a great Windows 11 experience where you can play games, where you can use files, where you can use the built-in browser and get that Windows-like experience on your Android device. So please do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, Let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so to get the latest version of this application on all of your Amazon devices, your Android devices, your Android TV devices, even your Android phones and tablets can use this application. Just make sure you go over to your settings, My Fire TV, Go to developer options and just ensure where it says install unknown apps. You've clicked on that and downloader is set to on. And this just means that we can download applications through downloader. Once you've done that, let's now open up downloader and we can make a quick connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com. Or you can always type in the short code 53402. Let's type that in and click on go. Or you can just press the play button on your remote. Now, when you get to my site, if you head over to the hamburger menu, which is one of the three lines. Let's click on that, click on tutorials, and the latest tutorial in the list will be how you can get this Windows 11 application for all of your Android devices. So let's open that up. Here we are, so Windows 11 on your Fire Stick, on your Android TVs, tells you some of the things you can do. Let's scroll down. You can play those games. It supports USB mouse, Bluetooth mouse, lots of different features. You can use a calculator, the terminal, whiteboard, notepad. Keep scrolling down. And underneath all of that, we should have a single link to the latest version of this application, which is this one here. So let's click on that, scroll down, and you want to click on this green download button. 
and this will download the latest version directly onto your device. So install that. Once you've done that, let's now press the home key. Now, before I open up the application on my 4K Fire Stick mags, I've just plugged in a USB mini keyboard just so I can get a small touchpad and also a keyboard to use. But if you don't want to do that, if you just want to have a look, you can do all of the navigation with the mouse toggle. Okay, so let's now open up this application for the first time. And let me just give a big shout out to Drew, who's one of my long-term subscribers who actually told me about this application. Now, just to show you initially, so with the standard remote control, I can bring up the virtual mouse by double pressing the play button. There it is. So now when I click anywhere on the screen, I now have the option to sign in. So again, just with the remote control, I'm gonna click on sign in. And we are now inside this virtual Windows 11 desktop or experience. Now I'm gonna jump over to my mini keyboard just to make that navigation a little bit easier. Now, as you can see here on a clean install, these are the applications that are pre-installed. So you've got the browser, you've got a sample Spotify, you've got the file explorer, and you have access to the Windows Store. Now you can also go to the start button down here. Let's click on that. And we can see some other applications like the whiteboard. You also have Twitter, so let's click on that. And we are now looking at a Twitter client through this application. So we can see that the World Cup match between Argentina and Croatia is about to start. Now I can click on any of these other tweets if you want to, but for now let's just close this down. Okay, so we can now, for example, look at the browser. Let's open that up. Now we can access any site on the internet. You can use YouTube. We have some of these other websites here. And of course you can search for anything that you like. So I can type in FIFA tables just to see what's happening. Click on next and we can now see all of those tables there. Now some of the cool things you will find are in the Microsoft store. So if we open that up, let's go to this download icon here. Now you can actually download these applications or snippets to these applications. I've tried a few of them and most of them do work okay. Like the Ninja game, you have this other uh, sort of puzzle game here. You've got a painting app. Let's try good old Solitaire. Let's see if that works. So click on that, click on get. And it's not like when you close this application down, you're gonna lose your settings or your changes or your applications that you have installed. All of those are actually retained. So here we can see Solitaire. I can click on that. And we're now playing Solitaire on our Amazon 4K Fire Stick Max through this Windows 11 emulator. So can I move this over here? I can't remember how to play this actually. Oh, there you go. Okay, fine. So is there a six somewhere? Here we go. And we can see we are playing this game on our Amazon 4K Fire Stick. So that's Solitaire. And as I mentioned before, you can go through those Windows applications, the Windows Store, and install the other things that you like. So lots of things to mess about with. Something a bit different. I know most of the videos here are Fire Stick tips or Fire Stick tutorials or streaming applications, but something a little bit different for you guys to try out, especially with some of those applications in that store, I think you'll definitely find this very interesting. And just before you go, guys, if you don't have a VPN or you're thinking about changing your current VPN, IP Vanish are now doing a crazy promotion whereby you can get complete protection for unlimited devices at really fast speeds with confirmed zero data logging at just over $3 a month. So really at that price point to get total protection, to protect your privacy, to change your IP address, to make sure that nobody can watch what you're doing online, I think it's definitely worthwhile checking out. So please do leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about this application and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.